All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. On the case on Facebook, Elite Mode, it all ends here. It's Martha, the person who sneaked into the mayor's headquarters right before Adam was killed was Martha Price. What was she doing in the mayor's headquarters? Could she have killed Adam? This is insane. We need to go talk to her right now. Mrs. Price can wait, Jones. I want you to go secure the stand where the election winner will be announced. Wait, but Chief, what? we can't lose... Uh, Finding Mr. Bentley's murder is top priority, but so is the election winner's security. We cannot leave anything to chance. Counting on you, Marshal Ace. Go talk to Martha, but don't forget to ch check out the election stand on the way. All right. If that's what you think, Chief King, we will follow you. Now, since... In the uh, elite mode, the in, the uh, labs are doubled. Let's see if we can start the labs a little bit. Oh, I remember this. Elvis. Fish was like right here. It's crazy that I remember where this stuff is. Broken statue right there. Trash bag, obviously another clue. Taxi and space dog. I don't remember where that is. Oh, there it is. Crazy. All right, since Kings insists on us securing the election stand, we might as well be thorough, Ace. Time to get the gloves out. Let's dig into this garbage bag you picked up. Thankfully, this broken statue should be less messy to deal with. I agree, Jones. Better question is, did we get enough stars? It takes a lot longer in, uh, in Elite Mode to find them. Zero seconds. Awesome. What the? What is this gun doing in the garbage bag? Right where the election results are to be announced, too. Alright, well, well spotted, eh? Someone has clearly tried to erase the gun's serial number. That's super fishy. Thankfully, you've proven time and time again how good you are at deciphering codes, Ace. Care to give it a go with this gun? Oh, snap. Let's do that, because it's going to take some time to find the serial number and who it goes with. That's probably an M. Yep, that's probably a G. Yep, that's probably a uh, R. There we go. <laughs> I remember how the old ones used to go. Fantastic job. Now that you've deciphered the, this gun serial number, we can send it to the lab to identify its owner. Let's do it. 24 hours, like I said, man. It's going to take some time to get through these elite modes. Ooh, it's like a, it's a spy. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> oh, dear goodness. Whoever thought it would be a good idea to create a garden gnome that looks like Mayor Johnson? This might haunt my dreams for years to come, Ace. I hope you're aware of it. Yeah, you're right. There seems to be a camera in, in that horror's eye. Someone was planning on spying on the election ceremony. I agree. We need to send this recording gnome to Alex straight away. It's probably Martha. To be fair. What's up, Martha? What do you have to say for yourself? Miss Price, we have proof that you sneaked inside the Red Party's headquarters when nobody else was around. I wasn't. This is a lie. This is Johnson's doing. He's trying to shift the blame. Um... Mrs. Price, we actually have actual video footage of you inside the offices. There's no room for doubt. I, I, well look, this had nothing to do with Adam Bentley, I swear. I was just, you know how it is. I knew Johnson would have something planned for today. We campaigned for months, but election day is when everything really matters. I just wanted to check what they had planned, to be prepared to counterattack. That's all. Well, you know, Ace, I'm really glad the election's ended today. I don't think I could have dealt with those bloody politicians one more day. What gets to me is that we can never trust them about anything. It's like lines built into their DNA. Huh, you're right. Of course, ranting and raving won't get us anywhere. What do you say we take another look at the hotel lobby? It was the last place Adam went to before getting killed, after all. Alright. Fair enough. Yeah, I forget, man. Back in the day, you, you didn't have to uh, wait to examine the second place. Now you have to, like have nine hours wait and then it like opens up the next place there's definitely some good things that they changed and some other things that they changed so 
All right, so glass, there's cocktail, crab, cap, that's not a cap, that's a cap, peacock, umbrella, right here, box is, I don't know, glass of wine, there it is, where's the box, oh. All right, luckily we have three more stars and it should take one more to examine the stuff. The hotel's lost and found box. Brilliant idea, Ace. Let's have a look through the contents. Maybe Adam forgot something here. Maybe he did. Maybe it's gonna lead us to another suspect. Who knows? Nobody knows. Well, actually, a lot of you guys know and I know, but... Uh, this is Elite Mode, so we're playing this through for fun. Bingo! You found Adam's notebook in the hotel's lost and found box, and a page has been torn. Always very suspicious. Let's get a closer look at this, Ace. We need to figure out what was written on that missing page. Adam Bentley, let's see. He's all stuff that he owes. Need more money, there you go. Well, the page that was torn out of Adam's notebook was about money. Well, I guess it makes sense. And look at the name. Jerry Bigwall, Walter Fairbanks, Roland Vane. Those were Adam's friends. And they're all dead. What about the sums listed next to the names? Do you think Adam was borrowing money from them? After all, the last thing he wrote was need more money. And since he was obviously renting his suits and his cars. You're right. Trying to fit into Maple Heights might have cost him a lot. The constant need to spend cash must have been overwhelming. Who knows what the need for money might have driven him to. We definitely need to keep this in mind, Ace. Definitely. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in 24 hours from Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, let's finish this off. You'll never believe this, Ace. The gun you found hidden in front of the election stand is registered to Tony Marconi. Wait, what? But he's in prison. I mean, the way he goes about it, it sounds more like a hotel, but surely people wouldn't allow... Wait, there's so much more. Nathan ran a series of tests on the gun, comparing a bullet fired from it to the bullet he found in Adam's head, and they match. Ace, you found the gun which was used to kill Adam. This gun is your murder weapon. What the heck? Ace, you're right. I can't say I'm very thrilled, but let's pay a visit to Marconi. You better have a very good explanation for this. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, obviously I know what the reason is but it's kind of fun to play this again because uh, it allows you to kind of see some things that you didn't know beforehand well Ace, I had to look at the horrible gnome spying system and I know who left it in front of the election stand the video doesn't leave room for imagination the person who placed this gnome here is the mayor's own mother Miss Serena Johnson um I know he's, she's overprotective of her son but she's taking things too far Ace, what do you say we get an explanation from her I would agree Let's do that. You again, Marshal Ace. If it's about someone's death, I can assure you I've been locked in my cell all day like a good boy. Oh, really? Then how come Adam Bentley was shot with your gun, Marconi? Adam Bentley was killed? With my gun? Oh, how clever. But surely you know that the gun you're holding was confiscated to me by the police force years ago. I'll admit the execution sounds like me. I've always been really good with a gun, else I wouldn't have survived for long. But I had no interest in Mr. Bentley. Well, I know you've got something to do with Adam's death, Marconi, and we'll prove it. What's to say you weren't on one of your temporary release today? Uh, I can only go out on Saturdays, Jones. Marshal Ace, next time you visit, leave the angry mutt at home. His barking's so much worse than his bite. <laughs> well, I definitely agree with that. Jones, Jones has that uh, quality about him. Marshall Ace, what a nice surprise. I'm afraid I do not have much time, though. So many things to do. You understand. Oh, what are you holding? You've repaired my gnome. Oh, how wonderful. Well, isn't it handsome? Just like, like, just like my darling boy. Um, yeah, about that gnome. We'd really be interested in knowing why you hid a camera inside of it, Mrs. Johnson. Well, for security, of course. How else could I make sure nothing would happen to my boy when he gets reelected? Short of taking a gun with me to the election speech, which I still intend to do, I'm a very good shot, you know. Mrs. Johnson! The election results aren't even in yet. But it's pretty obvious Howard is going to win. And there are people who might not be pleased about this. Just look at what happened to Mr. Bentley. 
He was killed in my son's headquarters. Whoever did it might have been targeting Howard. And I'm sorry, but I'm not convinced you're not doing your best to protect him. Alright. Hey, something tells me Adam's murder is going to be a devil to solve. So far, the only certainty is that we have Adam was killed by someone right-handed who is really good with a gun. And he was in executed inside the mayor headquarters, which can't be a coincidence. Could Adam's friendship with the mayor be the reason for his death? I guess Serena wouldn't appreciate a nobody turning around her precious son. And Adam trying to get into Martha's good graces wasn't clever either. You don't play in both camps without angering everyone, and we know Martha had access to the crime scene. Well, mind if I butt in, Ace? Remember how Marconi's gun was used to kill Adam? I thought that was strange, him being in prison and all, so I decided to dig deeper. It turns out this gun was confiscated from him when he got arrested for driving under the influence years ago, and it was confiscated by... Chief King. Wait, you're not seriously telling us that you think Chief could have kept the gun, are you? He's the Chief. Well, he wasn't back then, and I'm not saying he stole it, but the gun was filed as evidence upon Marconi's arrest, but at some point it disappeared. Well, Ace, what do you think about this? I mean, sure, King has always been fiercely protective of the mayor, and he did tell us that we should consider the fact that three of Adam's friends had already been killed as a threat to Howard Johnson. Oh my goodness, you're right. Chief King. Chief King is a plausible suspect. What? Say what? Anyways, guys, see you guys in Chapter 3. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.